Hello everybody, in this lesson I will discuss inclination in analytical geometry. Inclination, now what is that? The inclination of a line is the angle formed between the line and the positive x-axis measured in an anti-clockwise direction. So when you look at the sketch down below here, you will see it's the angle, theta here, which is formed between the line and the positive x measured in, a, in an anti-clockwise direction. If your gradient is greater than zero, in other words, positive, then theta is an acute angle, smaller than 90 degrees. If you go to the sketch on the right-hand side, again, by definition, the inclination of a line is the angle formed between the line and the positive x-axis measured in an anti-clockwise direction. If your gradient is negative, in other words, smaller than zero, then theta, the inclination, is an obtuse angle. And an obtuse angle is bigger than 90 degrees, but smaller than 180 degrees. To find the inclination of a line, there's a little formula. And the formula is m gradient is equal to tan theta. Example 1. Determine the inclination of PQ if P's coordinate are 0, 4 and q's coordinates are negative 4 and 0. There's some steps for you. The first thing you do is you will work out the gradient between points P and Q with your gradient formula. So when you substitute all the y's on top 0 minus 4 and all the x's at the bottom minus 4 minus 0 and then you end with the gradient of PQ is positive 1. Then, into your inclination formula, tan theta is equal to m, you substitute your gradient. And then to work out theta, the inclination, you will say shift tan 1 equals, and then your inclination will be 45 degrees. Example 2. Determine the inclination of line SR if S is the point 4, 6 and R is the point 6, 5. Again, there's steps. Step 1. We calculate the gradient of the line SR into the gradient formula. We substitute the coordinates. So on top, 5 minus 6 and at the bottom, the denominator, 6 minus 4. And we work out that the gradient of SR is negative a half. Then, into the formula, m is tan theta. But now, your gradient is negative a half. When you work out the inclination, you're going to work out a reference angle. And the, when you're working out a reference angle, then you do not include the negative. So, all you do is you're going to say it's shift tan positive a half is equal to, and then you find your reference angle, 26,57 degrees, because the reference angle is always positive. And when you slot in the negative on your calculator, you will end with a negative angle there, which is incorrect. Then, to find the inclination, now you're going to say theta is 180 degrees minus the reference angle, which is 180 minus 26,5, and then your inclination is theta is 153,43 degrees. Example 3. Given the gradient of line MN is 1, and the gradient of line PQ is negative 3 over 2. Calculate the size of alpha, beta, and theta. 
So we start with the gradient of mn is equal to 1 that is given. Therefore, we can work out the inclination and hence the size of alpha by using the formula tan alpha is equal to 1, the gradient. And then we're going to say shift tan 1 equals and we find that alpha is 45 degrees. So that one over there, 45 degrees. Now for beta. Can you see that beta is indeed the inclination of line PQ? Therefore, we can start by saying tan beta is equal to 3 over 2. But although the gradient of PQ is negative, remember, when we're working out the inclination, we only choose the positive gradient. Therefore, I'm only going to slot in positive 3 over 2 into my calculator. Now the steps are shift tan positive 3 over 2 and then I work out the reference angle. Can you see I did not call this one beta yet. I called it the reference angle which is 56,31 and remember a reference angle is always positive and always an acute angle. Now to work out the inclination angle beta, we say it's 180 degrees minus the reference angle, and then beta is 123,69 degrees. So I'll write it in there, 123,69 degrees. Now all that's left is for us to work out the size of theta. Now you will see that the angle M or Q is also equal to theta and the reason is they are vertically opposite angles and vertically opposite angles are equal. Now we can work out theta. So we can say that angle beta, this exterior angle over here, is equal to theta plus alpha because the rule says the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. And then I can work out theta by saying um, when I make theta the subject of the formula, therefore alpha will walk across. So beta minus alpha is theta, and then I can substitute beta's value, 123,69, minus alpha, 45 degrees is theta, therefore theta size is 78,69 degrees. Example 4. Find the inclination of the line x over 2 plus y over 3 is equal to 1. Now for us to work out the inclination, we need the gradient. So there's our line, but to find the gradient here, we've got a problem. And the problem is that we need to find an LCD, and your LCD in this case will be 6 and we will multiply every term by the LCD. And then we'll say 2 goes in itself once, 2 goes in there 3 times. So I'm left with 3x plus 3 goes in itself once, 3 goes into 6 twice, 2y is equal to 6. And now I can find uh, the gradient by writing my line in standard form. So the 3x will walk across and it becomes negative 3x and I will divide right through by 2. Therefore, the lines equation in standard form is y is negative 3 over 2x plus 3. Now I can work out the inclination with the formula m is tan theta. But remember, your gradient is negative now. So you ignore the minus. Into gradient, you will only substitute the positive uh, number there, 3 over 2 is equal to tan theta. And then you will say shift tan 3 over 2 equals. And then you find a reference angle of 56,3 degrees. Remember, a reference angle is always positive and it's an acute angle. Then you can say, Theta, your inclination, is 180 degrees minus the reference angle. 180 minus 
is theta is 123,7 degrees. In the next lesson, I will tell you everything you need to know about points that are collinear. Click on the video in the left hand corner to take you straight to the next lesson.